You! Yes, all of you! And I'm posting this video in many different places, but let me go ahead because I do have so much of a specific audience. Let me talk to people over at Godzilla 2013, 14, oops, Godzilla 2014 merchandise group. Let me talk to you guys real quick. This is one of your administrators talking. If you want to profit greatly from this Godzilla film, three words. Do your contests. I'm just saying, me, I've won three contests so far. You know, a monster attack team did this thing with the, uh, you know, Japanese Chirashis. I did not win when it was the teaser image, but I did in fact win through sharing a buttload of images. Over a hundred times I shared that image um, of the uh, second Japanese Chirashi that has the, um, you know, main post art on it. Yay. Um, also got from Sci-Fi Japan, the brand's making new Blu-rays of King Kong vs. Godzilla and King Kong Escape. They both look great. You should get them. And now, and I don't know if a lot of you guys um, took advantage of this or even noticed, but Mighty Ink Comics. Uh, it's uh, this podcast done by these two black dudes, and it's totally cool, man. It's totally cool. They just wax philosophically about, say, nerd stuff. And they did a contest, and <clears throat> I don't know about most people, but I entered. And um, I'll link in the description or something, you know, uh, the, the episode of the podcast. <laughs> You know, you can hear what I wrote. The um, contest was uh, describe your three favorite Godzilla moments. And uh, me, evidently being autistic, as some people would say, some friends of mine would say, uh, I kind of drilled on. But you know, just to give us some context, to give us some context. <clears throat> so anyway, I won some stuff, and that's I'm going to show you some stuff. For example, what am I wearing right now? Let's take a look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and it fits me too. I mean, maybe a little tight, but at least now I got something to wear tomorrow. I cannot see it tonight, but I can just see it tomorrow. Godzilla in theaters, May sixteenth, two thousand fourteen, and then on the back it does say "Let them fight." Pretty cool. This next piece, um, yeah, this next piece I really wanted because I was at my local Spencer's a couple days ago. I had to wait for a ride, had to take care of some business, and I was like, yeah, Spencer's, I heard they were only selling a lanyard at a outrageous price, but whatever, they got the lanyard, and I wouldn't mind paying five bucks for that lanyard, but they also got shot glasses and a water bottle, plastic water bottle with the um, image of a Godzilla trashing San Diego from the ocean, as is on the uh, side of the Jack Pacific Godzilla box. Um, so, you know, oh, if only I had 10 bucks. Well, you know, so then winning contests are free. Hence, boom, from H to go, Godzilla. This 12 ounces, let's see, no, 24 ounces, aluminum classic, hand wash only. Yeah, so, you know, I gotta make sure I don't wipe this off. But, um, yeah, and it even came with something for me to attach it to my lanyard. Pretty cool. Start quenching my thirst that way. If I want to go get a drink at the theater, I'm like, oh no. Ah, ah. You want to know how big this is? 24 ounces. Charge me 24 ounces of some cool Coke. Next, you know something else I could wear? Buttons. Let's see. Yeah, let's start off with this one. Just your regular button. Yeah. You know, it's orange. God's a for the dorsal fence. And you now it's really nicely made. It's really nicely made. Let's see. See, I, uh, because I took graphic communications and, um, photography class, I did learn how to make these, and I gotta say, they're using some pretty cool machines. What I had to use was outdated, probably, for the 80s. Mm hmm. Uh, and there's the copyright information Toho, Warner Brothers, and Legendary. And, uh, this one, which, I uh, would be interesting if I got a reaction from this one, considering. You know, uses pre-war Japanese, you know, design features. <laughs> I mean, that's part of what screams. Oh, this is like emphasizing Godzilla's Japanness. You know, and uh, well, yeah, technically it is, but in a pre-war fashion. 
Interesting. <laughs> the next piece of merchandise I was really happy to get mostly because it was just something that interested me. Like you don't necessarily need it and until now it would seem like a total waste for a company to produce this. But whatever. You know something? It's cool. It's cool. And it's the Frisbee. Now those of you who have been keeping up um, because you could truly write a book about you know the marketing and merchandising of this film via just looking through the posts on uh, this group and um yeah this was given away to um well not give away to given been away at um like say some concerts or whatnot I don't know any bands maybe if you want to comment on this video you could lie to me and let's see well, before we get to the creme de la creme uh some mightyink.net decal yep yep again it's .net but you can also use .com I believe yeah and last but not least here we go here's the best stuff here's the best stuff um one these are legitimate and here's my well here's my reasonings uh they're legitimate because a the paperweight and the glossiness you're gonna see how it reflects light it's too similar to other, you know, poster stocks that I have for it not to be real. Second of all, they went to Warner Brothers uh, Consumer Products, which is the same people who probably... Yeah, they are the same people who sent out to those lucky few who work for press agencies and whatnot, the Godzilla Survival Kits. So, yeah, it's going to be official. Three, I've seen them give away these kind of posters at theaters a couple of times in my life. Georgia Theater Company doesn't do it too often. But when it does, I see them, yeah, they, they <clears throat> give away these kind of posters. Last time I saw it for was uh, Jack Black's Gulliver's Travels. Ugh. So, anyway, posters. And the dimensions of which I do not know, but they are wall mountable. They are that big enough that I deem them mountable on my wall. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like a dream materialized. I don't know how many of you guys did this, but yeah, yeah. I went to the theater. My local theater. Only because I want to see that poster. See it inside of a natural setting. Not some news report on the internet, you know. Because that's a sort of kind of artificiality about it. Here we go. The other poster. This one has unrolled out better than the other one. We've got to do some more work on that one. Yeah. Dun 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 Okay. Okay. Here we go. Hmm. So anyway, um I'm just gonna tell you guys again. If you're like me, and barely by the skin of your teeth, and yeah, I made the conscious decision, hey, I'm probably gonna have to give up a couple meals, that's fine. To uh, you know, and also it was the last thing that Last bit of Godzilla merchandise that my, that my mom bought me. Um, if you want to get stuff and you only have enough money to get a poster and the Jack Pacific Godzilla figure, go do your contests. You can win. I believe in you. And sometimes you're going to lose. I entered three different contests for the Art of Destruction book, but that's fine. Guess what? There's enough images and scans on the internet to where I could whet my appetite. <clears throat> so, anyway. Just thought, uh, you know, you guys would be interested in that. And, um, I hope you like this new Godzilla film. I really do. Because I knew right when the Comic Con trailer, well, Proof of Concept leaked. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. You know, some of that um, unrealistic optimism that I have. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. You guys enjoy it. See it. All of you should see it at least three times. Three times. If you are seeing this movie less times than you went to go see Pacific Rim, you're doing something wrong. Bye.